authorities, but they won't confirm that it's Steve McMahon. Last night, fans had their say in a forum at the Britannia Stadium with Chief Executive Jess Moxie. We were there to find out who the fans' favourite for the job would be. That's all coming up with the rest of the sport later. It's ten days. Fans' opinions at a club forum was mixed, with as many using the stage as an opportunity to express their displeasure with the club's board. Their team had been amongst the favourites for promotion, yet they missed out on the playoffs and now they're looking for their sixth manager in two years. For the fans, there was much to discuss and an opinion to air. I think you need somebody with a bit of a gut to come out and give them fighting spirit. Um, yes, you know, we'd love a, a decent manager, the Alex Ferg sort of thing, but um, somebody, I don't know, Steve McMahon, I think would be a good manager. He's got some fighting spirit. The motivator of men, I think a lot of these fans would really like to see Lou Macari, myself included. My choice for manager would be Danny Smith, which I've said all along. If you look at his record, He's had success everywhere he's been, except last season. A poll conducted for Central News at 6 as supporters entered the stadium produced a clear favourite. Macclesfield's Sammy McElroy was the choice of 35%. Former manager Lou Macari was next, with 17% of those asked wanting him back for a third spell in charge. John Rudge claimed 16%. Further down the list, Steve McMahon claimed just 2%, despite rumours of a strong interest from the board. He would also fulfil the requirements laid down at last night's meeting. We want somebody who is going to put a rocket up the backsides of our players so when they get out there, they give you and this football club 100%. That's Forty Stoke since 1962. And last season was the worst set of footballers this club has ever had. And the only place that this current set of players are going to go is down, not up, and that is just not good enough for Stoke City FC. So how can they turn it around then? Get rid of the directors and Jez Moxie, because there's absolutely nothing for the club. Tonight, he hasn't convinced me one little bit of what he said tonight, hasn't given me any confidence whatsoever, and he hasn't convinced me, told me anything I don't already know. I think it's good that we understand their depth of feeling about the situation, but that's something that we knew already, and at least it gave them an opportunity to express it further to us. That will be taken on board, and um, I'll be informing our shareholders and our board of directors accordingly. We'll wait and see. Meanwhile, jockey Graham Brown.